the ashes, dust in the dust, loyalty over money, but the money we trust, they die young, see now I get packed in the dust, cold game, cause the nigga look exactly like us, the strap that I bust, fully auto with a drum on it, close your eyes, silent just for one moment. All right, people, y'all know the vibes and y'all know the drill. Episode 33. We are in the building. This is Battle Rap Man, TIBR Podcast, 7 Mitchell K. Doge. Y'all know how we rocking. K, you ready? You know, I'm ready, man. I'm already ready and willing to teach to teach you about Battle Rap, number one. I got, I got, I got, I always got to come in here and teach you things and the rest of the Battle Rap culture. You know how that goes. <laughs> Sound like somebody gonna be talking to the bosses before this one is over, man. So let's get ready to rock and roll. K, okay, let the people know where they at just in case they forgot. This is Battle Rap T I B R. Y'all know what it is. Episode Trey Trey. Let's go. You already know, man. Triple threat. And we got a special one on deck for you guys once again. Salute again to the Battle Rap community, man. T I B R podcast episode 33. We got a special guest joining me. My brother, K's brother. Some of your favorite media uh, platforms in battle rap. Over the years, my man has been self-made, building his own thing, and he pretty much holding the Northwest down when it comes to the media and battle rap, man. I'm talking about B.A. from Get Your Bars Up Media. B.A., salute. Welcome to This Is Battle Rap, bro. Man, um, fellas, man, I, y'all don't know that I, man, uh, I really appreciate both of you, man, seven Kados, man. I, I've been rocking with y'all for the last few years, man. Um, I love what y'all have been putting together. Likewise. And uh, I love seeing, like, I, I love the growth of what I've seen. Like, I, I seen y'all when y'all first started the, the team up with this particular platform, and I'm seeing it grow, and I'm loving the content, and I'm loving the elevation. I see evolution before my eyes and hey salute to y'all man i can't wait to see where it is a year from now you dig i appreciate that so much bro because we sitting here trying to build things you know ground up and we also trying to have our own identity it's always something going on in battle rap so we don't really want to tie ourselves in too much with other people so i definitely appreciate you seeing what we're trying to get rocking and rolling over here and 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 hold on i gotta give ba one of these real quick <laughs> mm. right. Classic. Right. Classic. Classic. You know, you know man. So I feel better now. I feel good. <laughs> no doubt, man. We're going to tap into BA, get your bars up media, the platform, the history behind it, and so much more later on in the show. But we got some plate on the menu for you guys today. So I uh, definitely appreciate everyone that support. We definitely got to talk about the new developments that happened with Tsunami Surf. We're going to tap into that today. Also, Ad versus the URL. It seems like this is a topic of discussion that's not going away. We're going to chop it up, talk about what's going on with Av and the URL re-signing some familiar faces to contracts. We're going to break that down. We also want to talk about, um, of course, URL Homecoming. Geechee Gotti versus Murder Mook. The full card has been announced. So we're going to definitely tap into that conversation later on in the show. Y'all know what it is, man. Hit that like button. If you guys are anywhere on social media, make sure y'all follow each and every one of us. Let's get right into it, man. Let's start this thing off before we even get into the first topic. What's up with your man, Charleston White K? Like I'm watching him. And T.I. son and Bootsy and T.I. Like, this shit is crazy. Have you been witnessing what Charleston been doing when it comes to T.I. son yeah. and all that? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. What's, I've been seeing it, thoughts, bro. bro. What's your thoughts? Because T.I. son is out of start? pocket and he disrespectful if you ask me. I'm not even going to hold you. Facts. Like, I'm going to say this, man. I'm not one to speak on nobody, how they raise their kids and all that, right? But Word. from when everything that Charleston White has been you know, speaking on since his emergence, right? T.I.'s son is the antithesis of that. It's the it's the prime example. This kid has been born with a silver spoon. We can't say he has that. We know he's grown up right before our eyes. We watched we it. Don't exactly. see, we don't see his older brother into this. Now, this is older brother, Damani, is in a totally different bag. 
Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's so weird to see this kid trying to really be something that we all know that he not. You know what I'm saying? So it's it, it really comes down to, hey, Charleston White, his delivery, people may not like, but the dude be saying some factual shit, bro, about our community, about these rappers. And since when, niggas are scared to go to jail. <laughs> 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 BA, what does it say though, though? Because like B Kato's made a point about Charleston White, his delivery may be off, but you know, the message that he has, you know, he'd be speaking facts. But BA, don't you think that you definitely gotta have a, a certain delivery? Like delivery does matter, right? Yeah, delivery matters, but when you are true and authentic and you are true to yourself, it's like who cares? You know, who, who let those who have who have ears hear. You dig? So right. if you want to listen to me, you can listen to me. If you don't want to listen to me, click to the next person that's going to say the same thing that I'm going to say in a nice way. If my delivery scares you off, then that just means that I'm just not the right outlet for you. That's how I look at it for him. Me, um, I like I like Charleston. You know, I, some 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 things that the, some the way that he moves sometimes trips me out. But I know that he's all about this. This is a guy that makes ten thousand dollars a month from his youtube channel so he's going to add some type of shock value but at the same time he's going to kick that realness so i don't have an issue with him at all that's he, it's a lane for himself did y'all know he was going to blow up like this because the first time i ever seen charleston white and it's crazy because we're in the battle rap culture but the first time i saw charleston white ever was on queen's flip show yeah yeah, I and I, I i didn't anticipate him to blow up the way he has done it did y'all see this coming from him I, I kind of saw it coming, man, because listen, about going back to delivery, this is all going to tie in. It's something with our people, bro, where if you're coming across authentic, but you have a mono, or a certain tone, like let's say this tone, when you're speaking to certain people in our community, bro, they don't get this type of conversation, this talk. You got to say, nigga, you a bitch ass, you need to understand this, but like for some reason, we can't come across that way. And that's the reason why I saw this coming because of his delivery, because it is, it's not really shocking, but it's like, damn, this dude is really saying what a lot of us be thinking and saying it in the way we be thinking. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And we got a guy who's saying a lot of this shit, bro. And that's why he has a big following because people agree with them and people are tired of some of the bullshit that goes on in our community so and he's saying it in a way that we've never seen before for real you know what i'm saying like we've seen the uh the jesse jacksons the farrakhans we've seen the, the sharp things we've seen so-called leaders you know speak on some of the same topics but not like this not to where cats are actually getting angry and wanting to hurt this cat <laughs> because of the stuff that he's saying. Hence the T.I. and now Boosty yeah. as well. You know, so Cass is getting mad because it's really, it, it's, it's hitting home. It's hitting home. Some of the shit he'd be saying, bro. Yo, the truth, the truth cuts. And, and people, man, the truth will cut you, especially when you're not ready for it. It's going to cut. You're going to feel it. And that's what's happening. And that's why people, it's hard for people these days to look themselves in the mirror and to be truly objective with themselves because we have, we as human beings, we have what we call ego. But right. once that ego, you put a mirror to that ego and you watch yourself from what somebody else spoke and you look deep within yourself, you start to feel a certain type of way and not too many people can handle that. So shout out to Charleston because yeah. he, he's that mirror. Thanks. Y'all already know the vibes, man. This is Battle Rap episode 33. Let's get right into the show. First topic of the day, man. We got to get into Tsunami Surf now. For those who don't know, Sue Surf has been arrested and detained on federal RICO charges, I believe, in New Jersey. Um, I don't myself have a whole bunch of details on this story. I know um, a lot of things have been speculation when it comes to what's going on with Surf over the last week. Uh, but I do want to really tap into this subject with you fellas, not so much on 
surf so, so side of things, but the battle rap community, the reactions and what we are seeing since the news. I wanted to get y'all opinions about certain shit, um, you know, that has transpired since surf was actually locked up. I'll start off with you, K. What do you think? And I don't want to like create content or even paint the picture that he's done for. He's not coming home. So I'll just go short term wise. What do you think his uh, lack of uh, presence now? How is it going to impact the URL? Do you think it's going to have an impact at all if serve short term wise is not around? Um, it's going to definitely have an impact, but I feel like the URL, as we're going to talk about later, ha- they've had some contingency plans. And we're going to talk about that a little later, some new signings that they've had actually signed and sealed for the next couple of years. So the URL is always going to kind of take care of their end and figure out the best way to compensate for a loss like Sue Surf. Sue Surf is a big loss. He's the URL's best marketer. You know, as soon as he's looking for a battle, he's going to talk about that battle rapper that he's battling. He's going to, he's going to be on live on IG, on the spaces, you know, so they're going to miss that. They're going to miss that marketer because nobody else does it like Surf. I guess you guys can name me someone. I can't name anyone that markets a battle like Surf does, besides Cassidy, of course. Cassidy's probably, he's the king when it comes to marketing. But other than that, I can't really, I don't see that. So that's the that's the void that's going to be there for URL. You know, I got to go back to this game tape. I thought at the beginning of the show, so you said you were prepared and ready to beat me in some debates. I mean, what is going on? Like, you're starting <laughs> off real slow. Like, because you, mm-hmm. you're telling me that the the impact of Surf's departure, the, the void will be filled by the replacements of Chef Trez, Old Red, Bill Collector, and uh, who else did they sign for two years? Called, uh, clean Paper? Those um, additions... I'm not, I'm just... <laughs> I didn't say they'll be filled. I'm saying they have a contingency plan. They have something in place because Clean Paper is a definitely an entertaining dude. Bill Collector is definitely entertaining. So you got you got cats coming back that can kind of come right in and add hold it more down. matchups and, and can hold it down. more okay. matchups for the URL, bro. Okay. So I just won this, right? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I just wanted to make sure he was in the game. <laughs> I wanted to make sure he was in the game. Talk your ish, dogs, talk. The way he was Let's talking go. sounded like he was from the bleachers. So I just want to make sure he on the court ready to rock <laughs> with me because I'm telling you, I'm ready to go. B.A., bro, what is your, <laughs> and what's your thoughts about, you know, if there will be any impact for the URL as a company by Surf being detained short term? Honestly, the company is so it's it's it's, it's now it's a conglomerate now. You know, um, it's gonna. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna be super impacted uh, um, six months from now. For the first couple months while he's gone, of course, it's gonna be impact because he brought so much to the culture. But the roster is so crazy; they're traveling all over the place. They're gonna like. I don't think it's gonna really hurt them a few months down the line going forward. Right now, it's still fresh, and it's Sue Surf. This is one of the top battle rappers. But you still have Sue Surf. Believe it or not, he's not like he's not really Mount Rushmore or anything like that specifically. Not to dig on him, you feel me? Because he's still a phenomenal talent, and I like the way he talk is ish. But they have so much talent. URL is their roster. They have so many people on their roster that can actually do something and get a chance now. With, with Sue Surf even out the way. So I don't think it's going to affect them too much, honestly. Yeah, I can see that. You know, you guys made a great point. They have been consistent when it comes to events, when we talk about roster, when we talk about, um, you know, just putting content out there, URL doesn't miss a beat. Um, there was something I, I did kind of want to get at when we talk about the impact of Surf not being gone. You know, there's nothing or nobody that can definitely fill that void um, for Surf. B.A., what was your reaction or what is your reaction when it comes to social media and Surf being locked up? Because, you know, it's a lot of free Surf. Then there were people requesting 
pictures not being shared. It was a lot of selective stuff. I seen people asking Battle Rap Media not to share stuff, but wasn't asking Lisa Evers and, and all the yeah. other mainstream publications that was covering this. What was your reaction to seeing how selective shit has been in Battle Rap since uh, the I, Honestly, I don't, I, I don't, um, I don't really, I didn't really even have a reaction for it because I'm one of those people, like if something with, with surf, I believe that surf should just continue to focus on his cases. People should focus on their true circle. It's a lot of these people. It's a lot of people that are fake and not genuine. And it's a lot of uh, the same people that are talking crazy about surf, talking about you're a snitch. You got a, you got a gun charge and all that. Now they looking at everybody else. They're like, Oh, I can't say this no more. So let me say free surf. And jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, it's they crazy. Jump, it jumping on the bandwagon. So therefore, me, uh, this this happens when important people either I, either we lose them because they uh, they go to they 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 pass away or they get locked up. You get people out of the blue that says free whatever. This is the same. <laughs> this is a similar what happened to Adi Boom. <laughs> Very similar, except not with the how deep the charge is, but. People are going to hate you, then they're going to love you, then they're going to hate you again, and then they're going to love you again once you come back. Right, right. So I, I didn't pay it no mind, honestly. I People people are full of whatever, and I don't I don't believe a lot of these niggas out here. Okay, we do things different, but how should the media generally cover this story and stories like this when it comes to battle rap media and, and stories in battle rap that doesn't specifically involve the battle? How do you think the media should cover shit like that? Because what I don't like is everybody trying to keep secrets. It was such a secret in the battle rap community about what was going on with surf. Like people was trying to keep secrets. But when the main publications, credible news articles and stuff, when they got the info, they do their job and they put it out there. So, you know, and then I see people putting stuff up and then taking it down. Like I lost some respect for some people because they wasn't moving like real media outlets. You know, they were being selective. But how do you think we should cover shit like this, K-Dose, in the culture? I got a couple of things to say about this. Number one, people need to keep keep the same fucking energy. Okay? Gotcha. Facts. Facts. These people, these people they, they cover every other fucking thing. They cover who's fucking who. Uh, they cover... Who's gay? Who's not? Who's messing with trannies? Who's you're covering and talk about all that different shit? Now someone gets locked up, and this happens. This happens, people. And if you're a media, if you're a journalist or whatever you want to call yourself, you're going to report on it. Doesn't mean you have to do it in a distasteful way, but you're going to report on it, right? So. One thing that I pride ourselves on is we've always kept the same energy with everything that we're doing. Okay. We've never been the type of people to post all kinds of pictures and stuff like that. It's just something that we really don't do. We usually only cover what's within battle rap. However, this is battle rap. This is the platform. So if it's battle rap related, Sue Surf is a battle rapper, right? Yes. It's it behoove us, the people who support our platform for us to give them that, to give them whether it's our opinions or a report on it, right? So a lot of these people in battle rap, what I've noticed is a lot of fake shit going on. A lot of people are very selective, as Seven said. They move the goalposts for every fucking thing. This platform can do this, but this other platform can't do this. Why? Oh, they don't have enough subscribers. They're not as known. But this other platform can get away with certain shit. Or even the bigger platforms, they don't want to get, they don't let them get away with certain things too. So it's it's very like, you know, people don't keep the same energy in this because I hate to bring this up, Seven, and I'm going to do it. I know you, it ain't the same, but it is the same. There's some bias going through a whole public thing, right? Everybody's all in his paperwork. Everybody's all just because of what he's being charged with, the way he's been accused of. We're public and all that shit about it. But Sue Surf gets locked up. We can't we can't talk about that now. We can't post a picture of his mug shot. We can't post him getting arrested. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, over here, we keep the same energy across the board. And I would just ask that they do the same. When it comes to that request, because I saw his mom had did a video 
um, about it is she talked about his daughter, him having a, a teenage daughter. This really ain't about mom's request. Like even right or wrong, if you if somebody's mother asks for something, you know, you it is what it is. Like you just got to pretty much for the most part go with it. But I was surprised, not surprised, but I saw some people that were specifically in our culture just so selective trying to get people to not do things but wouldn't dare ask a real news publication not to do that. That's the job. So, you know, I thought that was crazy. Let's say hypothetically, though, you know, surf makes out, you know, sooner than later. Mm-hmm. What what the hell is this looking like for his coming home party? Like how like what do we have then? Let's say he comes home. OK, like. It is. Like, how, how does the storyline go? Like when it comes to battle rap, mm-hmm. how does it go? How does it how does it play mm-hmm. out? Honestly, in, in, in my humble opinion, uh, he he would he would need to be more concerned about his life and surroundings, you know. And because a lot of the reasons why he's in this situation is because of that, his surroundings, who he's affiliated with, which is a hard thing to do when you're in that gang, when you're in that gang banging. It's, it's really no way to get away from that shit, to be totally honest with you. It's really hard. So he's going to have to really take care of that part of his life. You know what I'm saying? As far as battle rap goes, I think battle rap would be more than happy to have him back. You know what I'm saying? What? But it's just, yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah. That's, that's an understatement. Yeah. B.A., I think I think they going to have surf on some Tupac shit if he come home, like when he come home off of this. Like he's going to be put in a spotlight in a in a cloud of a of a hero or legend you know what i'm saying like it's another chapter to his very thick story man like very thick so, book that he has bro it's gonna be it's, I, I think it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a glass half full glass half empty glass half full is exactly what y'all were speaking about it's gonna be love and all of that but then the glass half empty is going to be um the the true sous surf haters who are going to say they're going to bring up allegations. They're going to say, yo, how did he get out this fast, et cetera? Is he snitching? And then the other glass half uh, empty part of it is URL went and bought and bought you your own driver. They put you up in your own condo. I'm going to say allegedly, but I know what's really going on with him because they try to keep him away from this. The glass half empty other part of this is, are you, are you still going back to uh, Jersey and are you still on camera talking about, yeah, it's 60s, it's this, it's that. Are you still doing that to the extent that you were just to prove to people that you are, that you are, that you are part of the left side connection? Is that important to you? Have you learned your lesson? I don't it's know. be a process, you know, Kay and I talked yeah. about the same topic. Like you can't at a snap of a finger do that and 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 think people going to believe you that is a process that you're going to have to show throughout the period of time that you have changed your style up so you know i agree with you guys both that's going to be very important but i just i will not be surprised seven sorry to cut you off my brother but i will not be surprised if surf does come out he be on his little legs first calico shit (laughs) what you mean on some preaching shit yeah, yeah. in his surprised. way though. No, yeah. yo, I'm, I see Tupac. Welcome to Death Row. Shit, I, yeah. I'm telling you, yo, they he gonna be so the ultimate. But I want to say this: you're the company that you're making a lot. Like Sue Surf is made URL millions. URL that's like URL's baby. They take care of him. They can't take care of him more than they take care of Tay Rock. Period. They get you, they actually got you a driver and they got you a freaking condo penthouse away from everything, away from everything. And you still manage to say, oh, and they upped your salary too. So now you're getting 40, 50, 60,000 a battle. You disregard all of that just to go and you start constantly flying back home, getting into trouble. I hope he learns his lesson because he's been locked up multiple times. He's been in and out of jail so much within the past six years, and people are not going to talk about that part. But that's real. 
That is real. That is definitely real. The only thing I will say, you know, in um, defense of surf in that matter is he may have learned his lesson as of late. I'm pretty sure you are out if those allegations are true about what they're doing for him. I'm pretty sure they wasn't doing that five, seven years ago for surf. These allegations, some of re reported that this stuff happened way back in 2015. You know what I'm saying? So maybe he has learned his lesson. And maybe he is moving different, even though we see him talk shit. Maybe he is actually moving different as of late since the URL has, you know, maybe stepped in. But the URL can't do anything to help him when it comes to stuff that happened in the past. And that's what seems to be the basis of this whole charge. This is the same. We're talking about the same guy. And I hate to do this, but I'm keeping that same energy because I'm authentic. This is the same guy that. Like I see he I see he's changing and I want him to change because it helps all of battle rap. You feel me? It helps all of battle rap with them being here. But this is the same guy who him and his people allegedly beat up with some dude with a cane, bro. What I tell you, Kay? This is, this is the same. Bro, you're, you're repeating guy. the same thing, man. Kay, I just I just had a conversation with Kay about this. That's what I said. It's gotta be a process, bro. And that was recent. That was midnight madness, yeah. time, I believe. So yeah. tell him what he gonna do. Like, like this is the same guy. Who gets when when he does get upset, he start he threatens people online and he tell you, I'll get my people's or I'll whoop your I I am about that life. You don't understand. I, I didn't I didn't I didn't smoke shit. He says all he said all of this online. This is the same guy. So I hope he changes. I hope this changes his life for real in a positive way. But you know what though? One, one thing I do want to say to that, and I think all of us can be really real. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let's be real. All of us are from the hood. All of us have a certain background that we come from, right? You know, when niggas get mad, bro, we go to a different level. Like now, I'm about I'll be 40 next year and I, I'm I'm trying to change. I'm still working on that. But you know, niggas go to a level when niggas piss us off enough. <laughs> we heard seven say. He ain't fighting with the dudes. He grabbed his shit. But you know what I think what it, what it is, is, okay. you know, everybody has that boiling point. But when it gets to a point where though, you showed us the consistency so much that if we were to put a resume on you, one of your bullet points would be that, then that would be a problem. Yeah. Like, you know how in so, boxing or wrestlers, you know, they put their signatures or their talents, what type of skills they have, you know what I'm saying, or what they, I, their attributes would be. You don't want something like that to you to that be your signature or you to be known for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, have you ever interviewed Surf BA? Uh no. Um, I've chopped it up with Surf, but I've never interviewed him. Okay. Um, okay. um every time I tried to interview him, um, he was um it was he always had something to do or whatnot. So I've never interviewed him. But that would have been a dope interview of him or whatnot to have. But one day, possibly, and hopefully, he get past this. No doubt, no doubt. This is Battle Rap Man, episode thirty-three. K Doe Seven Mitchell, BA. We are in the building, Battle Rap fans. Y'all already know the vibes. Let's get into the second topic of the day, man. Av versus the URL. Now, I I was listening to a Twitter spaces where Av was breaking down issues that he was having allegedly with the URL. He said ever since he battled official on Remy Ma's Chrome 23 card, things have been different. He's been taken off of events. I just saw a live stream with P from URL with Angry Fan saying that they are working on um, negotiations to get Av off of the URL, so to speak, if, if I'm summing that up right. Uh, what's your guys' thoughts on first the Av possibly being off the URL? Who is that going to hurt more? They ain't going to hurt the URL. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling y'all, they, hey, they're when people say machine, they're a machine because hey, we, you're replaceable. You're definitely replaceable, even though you're Av. Um, but. Uh, I actually think it can work for both of them because what Av, what's going to happen is the same thing with Bill Collector and everybody else. Av is going to go to RBE or he's going to go to GTX or he's going to go to KOTD and these smaller leagues. He's going to kill a lot of shit. He's going to kill a lot. And once he does that portion of it, 
URL is going to see that beaming light similar to what JC did too when he left. And they're going to be like, oh, come back. Similar to, to, to Chilla Jones. Oh, come back. So it's, I, it's not, I, I don't look at it as a loss. I don't look at it as a loss. I don't look at it as a loss for either because they both are going to continue to be who they are. I agree. I agree. It, th- th- there's not a loss for URL or Av. I think Av is going to gain to be yeah. honest with you, even yeah. more. Because we have to deal with that nonsense over there. How they pick and choose who can go and battle wherever they want. You know, <laughs> but like which is crazy to me. Except, I love man. URL, man. I love URL, but damn, man. The only thing crazy to me is y'all conversation right now. Y'all how, opinion how, on this how thing. Is is cra- how is it crazy? What's your opinion, of it? This is yeah, a, I want to hear this. <laughs> this is a major loss for both. I feel real sorry for Av number one because with this is a guy that just want to rap, right or wrong. We right. don't see Av in a lot of bullshit. He's never had a history of being in a lot of BS. He really just wants to rap and perform. You are Ellis not gonna miss a beat as far as battles, events, and stuff like that because they always around the clock with it. And you got battle rappers every day dreaming to be on the platform. So you are Ellis not gonna uh, lose when it comes to that part. But you don't have punching talent like Av. I know we got some elite punches like Rum Nitty and some guys like that. But as far as the actual talent, URL ain't got a lot of that. URL don't got a lot of guys that could put on potential classics, depending on if the matchup is right. So I think that the URL is losing some of the skill set because Av is one of the best punches we've ever seen. And as far as Av go, bro, you are L going to eventually cut the faucet off on that format that BA broke down when we talk about people leaving URL, going to another platform, building up that supply and demand that makes it undeniable that URL got to bring them back at least one time. I think eventually URL, bro, is going to cut that shit off because that is definitely a format BA broke down that has been clear as day. But, you know, now that RBE has came out with these podcasts and all that shit, like I really think Smacking them is going to draw a more defined line between those two brands than any time before. I'm going to say this. URL, they are the light stand of the battle rap community, period, right? If let Av go over there to any one of these bigger platforms, starts making 20, 30 a, a battle, RBE numbers start going up because he's making classics. And then he's talking to people like Briz, Rothstein, and all these other people. And he brings the, hey, he, yo, he, he uh, what you call it? He, he pulls a Harriet Tubman and brings everybody to, from that <laughs> underground railroad to the other side. It's going to get crazy. That's well, one see, thing that's a possibility. Here's the thing, we, But this, we, had, we saw that before with Adi Boom and, and Show Off before, right? Yeah. Like, we, we saw that before. And they never got the chance to come back to URL. But that was, but that's we're talking about. That's a long time ago, though. That, that's, that's, yeah, that's a long time ago, and no disrespect time. to them, but that's a lower grade of talent. I'm talking about them hitters, them household names for real. Adi Boom, that wasn't like that. How? Wait but, a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, but but this was both for y'all. This was both for y'all. Hold up. Wait a minute, Kay. And, and I'll start with you, Kay. How much of a of how much value you think Av could bring to RBE? Man, do you know how many potential matchups that can happen over there? <laughs> no, matchups that will take RBE to the next level. Is Av really that guy? You put a, put him in front of Big K and let him build up the battle Big K. Put him in, there's oh, a the lot VA behind battle. that battle. The build VA him, battle. Build, build him Big up. K. Do, we could put him, I mean, he could will. do some things over there. Bro. Will, will, is, will. Bro, it, bro. I mean, A Ward. I mean, I need five. Some things that I need that can five. Happen. I need five battles. I got two of the top media outlets in Battle Rap joining me right now. I need five battles that Av can have on RBE that will level the shit up. You say A Ward? Yes. Big K. Big K. Ill Will. Ill Will. Uh, Mac Myron. Av and Mac Myron could. That could yeah. be. Uh, that could be something. Mac Myron would be crazy. That could be something. <laughs> that could be and- something. But 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 this is what we're not talking about, and what we've heard other battle rappers talk about these URL contracts. They don't even know when and where they battle. Now I ain't saying all of them are like that, but I've heard a couple of battle rappers Both say 
they signed the contract for two years and they don't know when they're battling or who they're battling. That's not negotiated in um before. So I'm not, I wouldn't want to sign a contract with anyone. I don't care if it's URL or RBE. With anyone, when I don't really know my fate. You can tell me all you want. Oh, yeah, we're going to get you better with Charlie Clips. All right, when and where? Let's put that in the contract. From what I'm hearing, that's not what's been happening. I'm not sure if, if, if O-Red and Bill Collector and them change that. That's what I'm hearing. And then they're saying um, after they battle their prior battles that they've already booked before this contract, after that, it's all URL, which yeah. you don't know when you're battling. Look at Cassidy right now. He's signed a contract for Freeway. No. He's chilling. But no. He got paid, though, but, uh, so he don't care. He got yeah, paid. But, but I'm sure there's something in that contract that says he can't battle anywhere else. Those they until don't that know. battle happens, they don't yeah. they don't know who they're battling until two to three weeks before the card happens. There you go, and that's been and that's been happening for the past three years. There you since go, 2019. And you wonder why these battles be looking mediocre sometimes. <laughs> Do y'all have a problem so with the with the re-signing of O Red, Chef Trez, Bill Collector, and Clean Paper to two year contracts? Are you surprised about this Hell news, no. and do y'all have a problem with? It? No problem whatsoever. I mean, question is, do they have a problem? Yeah, exactly. That's that's, that's a question. I, I mean, obviously they did it, so there's something that they liked about it. But then I can understand guys probably seeing money up front. They probably getting money up front for these contracts too. So if we're getting money up front, you, that's cool right then and there. Yeah. But then when you see these, um, we, we start seeing these cars get announced, then you start seeing who they battling, then that's when we'll start to find out, okay, was it worth it for them or not? Which one of these niggas BA not going to survive the two years? Clean, Chef Trez, Bill Collector? They're, or all, they're all going to survive the two years because they all mm-hmm. have status, so they're going to all survive. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I wouldn't be surprised if majority of those guys in that group are are are, 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 are only put on app only events. I wouldn't be surprised. I can't. Interesting. Interesting. I can see. I can see all of them because they all have status. You know, I can see them on a caffeine event, but those names that came in, I can also see them see them on app only events as well. Let's see. Let's let's see how I go. Let's see how it go. I, I think out of all of them right now, Bill Collector is probably is the name that's ringing right now. That's the that's only, the name that surprises me. I'm surprised only. he even had to go through this. Mm-hmm. He still don't. That's real. Respect. He don't get his respect though. Bill has not gotten his respect from URL at all. They don't respect Bill like that. He's got, he has to go over to all of these other places where people love him. And the only way that he can be re- re- respected, I guess, internally is through the URL because they are, right. it only counts. This is, this is what I predict. All right. The next big event is probably not going to be what until next year, most likely. The next big URL event. I anticipate to see Bill Collector versus Tay Rock. You think so? Mm hmm. Why? headlining an event that's going to be bill collector's shot to really see if he can handle that spot that headlining spot on url do you remember the last time we seen bill collector on url do y'all remember i thought it was racist no it was i um, feel like i feel was, like bill collector the on URL. right it was yeah. a ULM championship versus the um, zone. Um, who won? Um, um, nah, it was uh, the last time I remember seeing him, and I could be wrong, but the last time I remember seeing him was versus Big T. Mm. On that That's the last time I remember seeing him on the URL. And he sh- he he uh, and that was his chance in that battle to 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 get more to to advance. And he flopped that battle. He he was choking and stuff. So that's the last time I remember seeing him. I don't remember seeing him on the URL after that. 
I saw a statement from someone from RBE. I'm not going to mention his name. I saw a statement saying that the bricks was better than the crucible niggas. Hey. You think so? I don't know yet. We're yeah. going to find out at this um, final exam event. Yeah, and at this new, at this other card that, uh, what's the, what's the, um, what's what, tier that? seven? Yeah, we're about to see that because half of that card is people in the bricks. Which card do you think is better, the final exam card or the RBE's card? I like the RBE card better. Because of the names? Or you think or oh, oh, I? I'm more excited about that because this is really the, the first time that RBE is actually, you know, showing the talent that they've been developing over the past couple of years. And they're getting real shots with real names. Mm-hmm. So I think that's dope. Some of these guys that are on um, like the final exam, we've kind of seen them before. They're, they're it's not actually as a similar new. format. It's kind of like rookie versus vet. I don't know if you really looked at the card for final exams, but you got mm-hmm. chess versus uh, Saflair Soul. <laughs> chess. Yeah. Oh Loso versus Clutch. We got Clean Paper versus Ease. Chess. Chef Treads versus Authentic Stings versus Hansel. And uh, Luke Castro versus Foot. So this is kind of like a. Yo. Similar type of format. I'm, I I'm want to watch out for Hansel. I was just Hansel. about to say Hansel is the best out of all the out of the bricks and the crucibles. Out of all, no disrespect to my people on the bricks. No disrespect to all my people I know on the crucible. But Hansel is the best. Hansel's gonna be something pretty soon. And yeah, y'all heard it yeah. here first. He's gonna be yeah, one man. of the ones, man. I remember you did the on-site with him at the Riot Monopoly event, right, Kate? Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, I got one of them on the channel, yep. Facts. Hansel is, he fire, bro. He's going to be one of those. He's going to, like, it's like Ge- Geechee is ushering in the West Coast vibes of this new era. Mm-hmm. Hansel's mm-hmm. going to be one of the very, one of the first ones people are going to be like, who is this nigga? I'm trying to yeah, tell man. you. He he might mess around and be a star, bro, because he got that potential. <laughs> he got all he got all the quality, man. He got aggression, bars, heavy perform. He got he got it all, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Hansel, man. This is Battle Rap episode thirty three. We about to go pay the bills. When we come back, man, it's homecoming time. We got to tap into the whole URL situation. They coming back to New York over in Plaza is reopening to the Battle Rap community. We haven't really been inside this venue since the whole Troy Ave um shooting with um what's his name? I forgot Tag Stone. Tag Tag Stone. Stone. Right yeah, 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 yeah. So right. we're gonna get into the URL predictions when we come back here at this is Battle Rap T I B R podcast episode 33. Don't go nowhere, man. We'll be back in six. All right, people, y'all know the vibes and y'all know the drill episode 33. We are in the building. This is Battle Rap, man. T-I-B-R Podcast 7, Mitchell K. Doge. Y'all know how we rocking. K, you ready? No, I'm ready, man. I'm already ready and willing to teach to teach you about Battle Rap, number one. I got, I got, I got, I always got to come in here and teach you things and the rest of the Battle Rap culture. You know how that goes. <laughs> Sound like somebody going to be talking to the bosses before this one is over, man. So let's get ready to rock and roll. K, okay, let the people know where they at just in case they forgot. This is Battle Rap, T-I-B-R. Y'all know what it is. Episode Trey Trey. Let's go. You already know, man. Triple Threat. And we got a special one on deck for you guys once again. Salute again to the Battle Rap community, man. T-I-B-R podcast episode 33. We got a special guest joining me. My brother, K's brother. Some of y'all favorite media uh, platforms in battle rap. Over the years, my man has been self-made, building his own thing, and he pretty much holding the Northwest down when it comes to the media battle rap, man. I'm talking about B.A. from Get Your Bars Up Media. B.A., salute. Welcome to This Is Battle Rap, bro. Man, um, fellas, man, I, y'all don't know that I, man, um, I really appreciate both of you, man. Seven Kados, man. I, I've been rocking with y'all for the last few years, man. Um, I love what y'all have been putting together. Likewise. And uh, I love seeing, like, I, I love the growth of what I've seen. Like, I, I seen y'all, when y'all first started the, the team up, 
with this particular platform and I'm seeing it grow and I'm loving the content and I'm loving the elevation. I see evolution before my eyes and I hey, salute to y'all, man. I can't wait to see where it is a year from now. You dig? I appreciate that so much, bro, because we sitting here trying to build things, you know, ground up and we also trying to have our own identity. It's always something going on in battle rap. So we don't really want to tie ourselves in too much with other people. So I definitely appreciate you seeing what we're trying to get rocking and rolling over here. And and, and hold on, I got to give B.A. one of these real quick. (laughs) (laughs) Classic. I feel better now. I feel good. <laughs> no doubt, man. We're going to tap into BA, get your bars up media, the platform, the history behind it, and so much more later on in the show. But we got some plate on the menu for you guys today. So I uh, definitely appreciate everyone that support. We definitely got to talk about the new developments that happened with Tsunami Surf. We're going to tap into that today. Also, AV versus the URL. It seems like this is a topic of discussion that's not going away. We're going to chop it up, talk about what's going on with AV and the URL resigning some familiar faces to contracts. We're going to break that down. We also want to talk about, um, of course, URL homecoming. Geechee Gotti versus Murder Mook. The full card has been announced. So we're going to definitely tap into that conversation later on in the show. Y'all know what it is, man. Hit that like button if you guys are anywhere on social media. Make sure y'all follow each and every one of us. Let's get right into it, man. Let's start this thing off before we even get into the first topic. What's up with your man, Charleston White K? Like, I'm watching him and T.I. Son and Bootsy and T.I. Like, this shit is crazy. Have you been witnessing what Charleston been doing when it comes to T.I. Son and all that? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. What's, I've been seeing what's it, thoughts, bro. bro. What's your thoughts? Because T.I. son is out of start? pocket and he disrespectful if you ask me. I'm not even going to hold you. Facts. Like, I'm going to say this, man. I'm not one to speak on nobody, how they raise their kids and all that, right? But Word. from what, everything that Charleston White has been you know, speaking on since his emergence, right? T.I.'s son is the antithesis of that. It's the, it's the prime example. This kid has been born with a silver spoon. We can't say he has that. We know he's grown up right before our eyes. We watched. We it, don't exactly. see. We don't see his older brother into this now. This is older brother. Damani is in a totally different bag. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's so weird to see this kid trying to really be some that we all know that he not. You know what I'm saying? So it's it, it really comes down to hey Charleston White. His delivery, people may not like, but the dude be saying some factual shit, bro, about our community, about these rappers. And since when, niggas are scared to go to jail. (laughs) (laughs) B.A., what does it say, though, though? Because, like, Kato's made a point about Charleston White. His delivery may be off, but, you know, the message that he has, you know, he be speaking facts. But B.A., don't you think that you definitely got to have a a certain delivery? Like, delivery does matter, right? Yeah, delivery matters. But when you are true and authentic and you are true to yourself, it's like, who cares? You know, who who let those who who have ears hear, you dig? So if you want to listen to me, you can listen to me. If you don't want to listen to me, click to the next person that's going to say the same thing that I'm going to say in a nice way. If my delivery scares you off, then that just means that I'm just not the right outlet for you. That's how I look at it for him. Me, um, I like I like Charleston. You know, I some 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 things that the, some the way that he moves sometimes trips me out. But I know that he's all about this. This is a guy that makes ten thousand dollars a month from his YouTube channel, so he's going to add some type of shock value. But at the same time, he's going to kick that realness. So. I don't have an issue with him at all. That's he, It's a lane for himself. Did y'all know he was going to blow up like this? Because the first time I ever seen Charleston White, and it's crazy because we're in the battle rap culture, but the first time I saw Charleston White ever was on Queen's Flip Show. Yeah. yeah I and I, I, I didn't anticipate him to blow up the way he has done it. Did y'all see this coming from him? I, I kind of saw it coming, man. Because listen, about going back to delivery, this is all going to tie in. It's something with our people, bro. 
where if you're coming across authentic, but you have a mono or a certain tone, like let's say this tone, when you're speaking to certain people in our community, bro, they don't get this type of conversation, this talk. You got to say, nigga, you a bitch ass. You need to understand this. But like, for some reason, we can't come across that way. And that's the reason why I saw this coming because of his delivery, because it is, it's not really shocking, but it's like, damn, this dude is really saying what a lot of us be thinking and saying it in the way we be thinking. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And we got a guy who's saying a lot of this shit, bro. And that's why he has a big following because people agree with him and people are tired of some of the bullshit that goes on in our community. So he's saying it in a way that we've never seen before, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've seen the uh, the Jesse Jacksons, the Farrakhans. We've seen the, the sharp things. We've seen so-called leaders, you know, speak on some of the same topics, but not like this. Not to where cats are actually getting angry and wanting to hurt this cat <laughs> because of the stuff that he's saying. Hence, the T.I. and now Boosie yeah. as well. You know, so Cass is getting mad because it's really, it, it's it's hitting home. It's hitting home. Some of the shit he'd be saying, bro. Yo, the truth, the truth cuts. And, and people, man, the truth will cut you, especially when you're not ready for it. It's going to cut. And you're going to feel it. And that's what's happening. And that's why people, it's hard for people these days to look themselves in the mirror and to be truly objective with themselves. Because we have, we as human beings, we have what we call ego. But right. once that ego, you put a mirror to that ego and you watch yourself from what somebody else spoke and you look deep within yourself, you start to feel a certain type of way and not too many people can handle that. So shout out to Charleston because yeah. he, he's that mirror. Thanks. Y'all already know the vibes, man. This is Battle Rap episode 33. Let's get right into the show. First topic of the day, man. We got to get into Tsunami Surf now. For those who don't know, Sue Surf has been arrested and detained on federal RICO charges, I believe, in New Jersey. Um, I don't myself have a whole bunch of details on this story. I know um, a lot of things have been speculation when it comes to what's going on with Surf over the last week. Uh, but I do want to really tap into this subject with you fellas, not so much on Sue Surf side of things, but the battle rap community, the reactions and what we are seeing since the news. I wanted to get y'all opinions about certain shit, um, you know, that has transpired since Surf was actually locked up. I'll start off with you, Kay. What do you think? And I don't want to like, create content or even paint the picture that he's done for he's not coming home so i'll just go short term wise what do you think his uh lack of uh presence now how is it going to impact the url do you think it's going to have an impact at all if sir short term wise is not around um it's going to definitely have an impact but i feel like the url as we're going to talk about later they've had some contingency plans and we're going to talk about that a little later, some new signings that they've had actually signed and sealed for the next couple of years. So the URL is always going to kind of take care of their end and figure out the best way to compensate for a loss like to surface. So surf is a big loss. He's the URL's best marketer. You know, as soon as he's booked for a battle, he's going to talk about that battle rapper that he's battling he's gonna he's gonna be on live on ig on the spaces you know so they're gonna miss that they're gonna miss that marketer because nobody else does it like surf i guess you guys can name me someone i can't name anyone that markets a battle like surf does besides cassidy of course cassidy's probably he's the king when it comes to marketing but other than that i can't really i don't see that so that's the that's the void that's going to be there for url you know, I got to go back to this game tape. I thought at the beginning of the show, so you said you were prepared and ready to beat me in some debates. I mean, what is going on? Like, you're starting <laughs> off real slow, like, because you, mm -hmm. you're you telling me that the, the impact of Surf's departure 
the the void will be filled by the replacements of Chef Trez, Old Red, Bill Collector, and uh, who else did they sign for two years? Called uh, Clean Paper. Those um, additions. I'm not, I'm just... I didn't say they'll be filled. I'm saying they have a contingency plan. They have something in place because Clean Paper is a definitely an entertaining dude. Bill Collector is definitely entertaining. So you got you got cats coming back that can kind of come right in and hold add it more matchups. And can hold it down. Okay. Matchups for the URL, bro. Okay. So I just won this, right? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I I just wanted to make sure he was in the game. <laughs> I wanted to make sure he was in the game. Talk the way he was Let's talking go. sounded like he was from the bleachers. So I just want to make sure he on the court ready to rock <laughs> with me because I'm telling you, I'm ready to go. B.A., bro, what is your, and what's your thoughts about, you know, if there will be any impact for the URL as a company by surf being detained short term? Honestly, the company is so it's it's it's, it's now it's a conglomerate now. You know, um, it's gonna. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna be super impacted uh, um, six months from now. For the first couple months while he's gone, of course, it's gonna be impact because he brought so much to the culture. But the roster is so crazy; they're traveling all over the place. They're gonna like. I don't think it's gonna really hurt them a few months down the line going forward. Right now, it's still fresh, and it's Sue Surf. This is one of the top battle rappers. But you still have Sue Surf. Believe it or not, he's not like he's not really Mount Rushmore or anything like that specifically. Not to dig on him, you feel me? Because he's still a phenomenal talent, and I like the way he talk his ish. But they have so much talent. URL is their roster. They have so many people on their roster that can actually do something and get a chance now. With, with Sue Surf even out the way. So I don't think it's going to affect them too much, honestly. Yeah, I can see that. You know, you guys made a great point. They have been consistent when it comes to events, when we talk about roster, when we talk about, um, you know, just putting content out there, URL doesn't miss a beat. Um, there was something I, I did kind of want to get at when we talk about the impact of Surf not being gone. You know, there's nothing or nobody that can definitely fill that void um, for Surf. B.A., what was your reaction or what is your reaction when it comes to social media and Surf being locked up? Because, you know, it's a lot of free Surf. Then there were people requesting Pictures not being shared. It was a lot of selective stuff. I seen people asking Battle Rap Media not to share stuff, but wasn't asking Lisa Evers and, and all the other mainstream publications that was covering this. What was your reaction to seeing how selective shit has been in Battle Rap since the Super Show? Honestly, I don't, I, I don't, um, I don't really, I didn't really even have a reaction for it because. I'm one of those people, like, if something with, with Surf, I believe that Surf should just continue to focus on his cases. People should focus on their true circle. It's a lot of these people. It's a lot of people that are fake and not genuine. And it's a lot of uh, it's the same people that are talking crazy about Surf, talking about you're a snitch. You got a you got a gun charge and all that. Now they looking at everybody else. They're like, oh, I can't say this no more. So let me say free Surf. And jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, it's crazy. Jump, it jumping on the bandwagon. So therefore, me, uh, this this happens when important people either I, either we lose them because they uh, they go to they 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 pass away or they get locked up. You get people out of the blue that says free whatever. This is the same. <laughs> this is a similar what happened to Adi Boom. <laughs> Very similar, except not with the how deep the charge is, but. People are going to hate you, then they're going to love you, then they're going to hate you again, and then they're going to love you again once you come back. Right, right. So I, I didn't pay it no mind, honestly. I People people are full of whatever, and I don't, I don't believe a lot of these niggas out here. Okay, we do things different, but how should the media generally cover this story and stories like this when it comes to battle rap media and, and stories in battle rap that doesn't specifically involve the battle how do you think the media should cover shit like that because what i don't like is everybody try and keep secrets it was such a secret in the battle rap community about what was going on with surf like people was trying to keep secrets but when the main publications 
credible news articles and stuff. When they got the info, they do their job and they put it out there. So, you know, and then I see people putting stuff up and then taking it down. Like I lost some respect for some people because they wasn't moving like real media outlets. You know, they were being selective. But how do you think we should cover shit like this, k in the culture? I got a couple of things to say about this. Number one, people need to keep keep the same fucking energy. Okay? Gotcha. Facts. Facts. People, these people, they, they cover every other fucking thing. They cover who's fucking who. Uh, they cover who's gay, who's not, who's messing with trannies, who's you're covering and talk about all that different shit. Now someone gets locked up and this happens. This happens, people. And if you're a media if you're a journalist or whatever you want to call yourself, you're going to report on it. Doesn't mean you have to do it in a distasteful way, but you're going to report on it, right? So one thing that I pride ourselves on is we've always kept the same energy with everything that we're doing, okay? We've never been the type of people to post all kinds of pictures and stuff like that. It's just something that we really don't do. We usually only cover what's within battle rap. However, this is battle rap. This is the platform. So if it's battle rap related, Sue Surf is a battle rapper, right? Yes. It's it behoove us, the people who support our platform for us to give them that, to give them whether it's our opinions or a report on it. Right. So a lot of these people in battle rap, what I've noticed is it's a lot of fake shit going on. A lot of people are very selective, as Seven said. They move the goalposts for every fucking thing. This platform can do this, but in this other platform can't do this. Why? Oh, they don't have enough subscribers. They're not as known. But this other platform can get away with certain shit. Or even the bigger platforms, they don't want to get they don't let them get away with certain things too. So it's it's very like, you know, people don't keep the same energy in this. Because I hate to bring this up, Seven, and I'm gonna do it. I know you, it ain't the same, but it is the same. There's some bias going through a whole public thing. Right. Everybody's all in his paperwork. Everybody's all just because of what he's being charged with, the way he's been accused of. We're public and all that shit about it. But Sue Surf gets locked up. We can't we can't talk about that now. We can't post a picture of his mug shot. We can't post him getting arrested. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, over here, we keep the same energy across the board. And I would just ask that they do the same. When it comes to that request, because I saw his mom had did a video um, about it. And she talked about his daughter, him having a, a teenage daughter. This really ain't it about mom's request. Like even right or wrong, if you if somebody's mother asks for something, you know, you, it is what it is. Like you just got to pretty much for the most part go with it. But I was surprised, not surprised, but I saw some people that were specifically in our culture. Just so selective, trying to get people to, to not do things, but wouldn't dare ask a real news publication not to do that. That's the job. So, you know, I thought that was crazy. Let's say hypothetically, though, you know, surf makes out, you know, sooner than later. Mm-hmm. What what the hell is this looking like for his coming home party? Like how, like, what do we have then? Let's say he comes home, okay? Like, it is, like, how, how does the storyline go? Like when it comes to battle rap, mm-hmm. how does it go? How does it how does it play I mean, out? Honestly, in, in, in my humble opinion, uh, he he would he would need to be more concerned about his life and surroundings, you know. And because a lot of the reasons why he's in this situation is because of that, his surroundings who he's affiliated with. It which is a hard thing to do when you're in that gang, when you're in that gang banging, it's, it's really no way to get away from that shit, to be totally honest with you. It's really hard. So he's going to have to really take care of that part of his life. You know what I'm saying? As far as battle rap goes, I think battle rap would be more than happy to have him back. You know what I'm saying? What? But it's just, Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's that's an understatement. Yeah. Ba, I think I think they gonna have surf on some Tupac shit if he come home. Like when he come home off of this, like he's gonna be put in a spotlight in a in a cloud 
of a of a hero or legend. You know what I'm saying? Like it's another chapter to his very thick story, man. Like very thick so, book that he has, bro. It's gonna be. It's, I, I think it's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a glass half full, glass half empty. Glass half full is exactly what y'all were speaking about. It's gonna be love and all of that, but then the glass half empty is going to be um, the the true Sioux Surf haters who are going to say they're gonna bring up allegations. They're gonna say, "Yo, how did he get out this fast, etc.? Is he snitching?" And then the other glass half uh, empty part of it is. URL went and bought and bought you your own driver. They put you up in your own condo. I'm gonna say allegedly, but I know what's really going on with him because they try to keep him away from this. The glass half empty other part of this is are you are you still going back to uh Jersey and are you still on camera talking about yeah, it's 60s, it's this, it's that. Are you still doing that to the extent that you were just to prove to people that you are that you are that you are part of the left side connection? Is that important to you? Have you learned your lesson? I don't it's going know. to be a process. You know, Kay and I talked yeah. about the same topic. Like you can't at a snap of a finger do that and 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 think people are going to believe you. That is a process that you're going to have to show throughout a period of time that you have changed your style up. So, you know, I agree with you guys both. That's going to be very important. But I just think I will not be surprised, Seven. Sorry to cut you off, my brother, but I will not be surprised if Surf does come out. He be on his Lola Lux first calico shit. <laughs> what you mean? On some preaching shit? Yeah. yeah. In his surprised. way, though. No, yeah. yo. I'm, I see Tupac welcome to death row shit. I, yeah. I'm telling you, yo. They, he going to be so, the ultimate. But I want to say this. You're, the company that you're making a lot, like Sue Surf has made URL millions. URL, that's like URL's baby. They take care of him. They can't take care of him more than they take care of Tay Rock, period. They get you, they actually got you a driver and they got you a freaking condo penthouse away from everything, away from everything. And you still manage to say, oh, and they upped your salary too. So now you're getting 40, 50, 60,000 a battle. You disregard all of that just to go and you start constantly flying back home, getting into trouble. I hope he learns his lesson because he's been locked up multiple times. He's been in and out of jail so much within the past six years. And people are not going to talk about that part. But that's real. That is real. That is definitely real. The only thing I will say, you know, in um, defensive surf in that matter is. He may have learned his lesson as of late. I'm pretty sure you are out if those allegations are true about what they're doing for him. I'm pretty sure they wasn't doing that five, seven years ago for surf. These allegations, some of we reported that this stuff happened way back in 2015. You know what I'm saying? So maybe he has learned his lesson and maybe he is moving different. Even though we see him talk shit, maybe he is actually moving different as of late since the URL is, you know, maybe stepped in, but the URL can't do anything to help him when it comes to stuff that happened in the past. And that's what seems to be the basis of this whole charge. This is the same. We're talking about the same guy and I hate to do this, but I'm keeping that same energy because I'm authentic. This is the same guy that like, I see he, I see he's changing and I want him to change because it helps all of battle rap. You feel me? It helps all the battle rap with them being here, but this is the same guy who, him and his people allegedly beat up some dude with a cane, bro. What I tell you, Kay? This is, this is the same. Bro, you're, you're repeating the same thing, man. Kay, I just I just had a conversation with Kay about this. That's what I said. This got to be a process, bro. And that was recent. That was midnight madness, yeah. time, I believe. So, yeah. Telling him what he gonna do, like like this is the same guy who gets when when he does get upset, he start he threatens people online. And he tell you, I'll get my people's. I whoop yo. I I am about that life. You don't understand. I I, I didn't I didn't smoke shit. He says all. He said all of this online. This is the same guy. So I hope he changes. I hope this changes his life for real in a positive way. But you know what though? One, one thing I do want to say to that, and I think all of us can be really real, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's be real. All of us are from the hood. All of us have a certain background that we come from, right? 
you know, when niggas get mad, bro, we go to a different level. Like now, I'm about I'll be 40 next year, and I, I'm I'm trying to change. I'm still working on that. But you know, niggas go to a level, niggas piss us off enough. <laughs> we heard seven say he ain't fighting with the dude. He grabbed his shit. But you know what I think what it what it is is okay. you know everybody has that boiling point. But when it gets to a point where it's, you showed us the consistency so much that if we were to put a resume on you, one of your bullet points would be that, then that would be a problem. Yeah. Like you know how in so, boxing or wrestlers. You know, they put their signatures or their talents, what type of skills they have, you know what I'm saying? Or what they, I, their attributes would be. You don't want something like that to you to that be your signature or you to be known for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, have you ever interviewed Surf BA? Uh, no, um, I've chopped it up with Surf, but I've never interviewed him. Okay. Um, okay. Um, every time I tried to interview him, um, he was, um, it was, he always had something to do or whatnot. So I've never interviewed him, but that would have been a dope interview of him or what not to have. But one day, possibly, and hopefully get past this. No doubt. No doubt. This is Battle Rap Man, episode 33, K-Do, 7 Mitchell, B.A. We are in the building, Battle Rap fans. Y'all already know the vibes. Let's get into the second topic of the day, man. Av versus the URL. Now. I, I was listening to a Twitter spaces where Ad was breaking down issues that he was having allegedly with the URL. He said ever since he battled official on Remy Ma's Chrome 23 card, things have been different. He's been taken off of events. I just saw a live stream with P from URL with Angry Fan saying that they are working on um, negotiations to get Av off of the URL, so to speak, if, if I'm summing that up right. Uh, what's your guys' thoughts on first the Av possibly being off the URL? Who is that going to hurt more? They ain't going to hurt the URL. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling y'all, they, hey, they are when people say machine, they're a machine because hey, we, you're replaceable. You're definitely replaceable, even though you're Av. Um, but uh. I actually think it can work for both of them because what Av, what's going to happen is the same thing with Bill Collector and everybody else. Av is going to go to RBE or he's going to go to GTX or he's going to go to KOTD in these smaller leagues. He's going to kill a lot of shit. He's going to kill a lot. And once he does that portion of it, URL is going to see that beaming light similar to what JC did too when he left. And they're going to be like, oh, come back. Similar to, to, to Chilla Jones. Oh, come back. So it's, I, it's not, I, I don't said. look at it as a loss. I don't look at it as a loss. I don't look at it as a loss for either because they both are going to continue to be who they are. I agree. I agree. It, it, there's not a loss for URL or Av. I think Av is going to gain, to be yeah. honest with you, even yeah. more. Because we're going to have to deal with that nonsense over there, how they pick and choose who can go and battle wherever they want. You know, like which is crazy to me. Seven, I love bro. URL, man. I love URL, but damn, man. The only thing crazy to me is y'all conversation right now. Y'all how, opinion on this how thing. Is is it how is it crazy? What's your opinion of it? This is yeah, a, I want to hear this. <laughs> this is a major loss for both. I feel real sorry for Ad number one because with this is a guy that just want to rap, right or wrong. We right. don't see Av in a lot of bullshit. He's never had a history of being in a lot of BS. He really just wants to rap and perform. URL is not going to miss a beat as far as battles, events, and stuff like that because they always around the clock with it. And you got battle rappers every day dreaming to be on the platform. So URL is not going to uh, lose when it comes to that part. But you don't have punching talent like Av. I know we got some elite punches like Rum Nitty and some guys like that, but as, as far as the actual talent, URL ain't got a lot of that. URL don't got a lot of guys that could put on potential classics, depending on if the matchup is right. So I think that the URL is losing some of the skill set because Av is one of the best punches we've ever seen. 
And as far as Av go, bro, you are going to eventually cut the faucet off on that format that BA broke down when we talk about people leaving URL, going to another platform, building up that supply and demand that makes it undeniable that URL got to bring them back at least one time. I think eventually URL, bro, is going to cut that shit off because that is definitely a format BA broke down that has been clear as day. But, you know, now that RBE has came out with these podcasts and all that shit, like I really think smacking them is going to draw a more defined line between those two brands than any time before. I'm going to say this. URL, they are the light stand of the battle rap community, period, right? If let Av go over there to any one of these bigger platforms, starts making 20, 30 a, a battle, RBE numbers start going up because he's making classics. And then he's talking to people like Briz, Rothstein and all these other people. And he brings the, hey, he, yo, he, he uh, what you call it? He, he pulls a Harriet Tubman and brings everybody to, from that <laughs> underground railroad to the other side. It's going to get crazy. That's well, one see, thing that's a possibility. Here's the Didn't thing, we, though. We, but this, we, had, we saw that before with Adi Boom and, and Show Off before, yeah. right? Like, we, we saw that before. And they never got the chance to come back to URL. But that was, but that's, we're talking about. That's a long time ago, though. That, that's, that's, yeah, that's a long time ago. And no disrespect to them, but that's a lower grade of talent. I'm talking about them hitters, them household names for real. Adi Boom, that wasn't but, like that. How? Wait but, a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, but but this but, was both for y'all. This was both for y'all. Hold up. Wait a minute, Kay. And, and I'll start with you, Kay. How much of a of how much value you think Av could bring to RBE? Man, do you know how many potential matchups that can happen <laughs> over there? No matchups that will take RBE to the next level. Is Av really that guy? You put a, put him in front of Big K and let him build up the Man, battle. Big K. Put him. In, there's oh, a lot the behind battle. that battle. The you VA look. battle. Build up, build him up. K. We could put him. I mean, he could will. do some things over there, bro. Will, will, will. It, bro. I mean, a ward. I mean, I need five. Things that I need that five. Happen. I need five battles. I got two of the top media outlets in Battle Rap joining me right now. I need five battles that Av can have on RBE that will level the shit up. You say a ward? Yes. Big K. Big K. Ill will. Ill, Ill will. will, uh, Mac Myron, Evan Mac Myron could that could yeah. be uh, that could be Evan something. Evan Mac Myron would be crazy. That could be something. <laughs> that could be and, something. But 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 this is what we're not talking about, and what we've heard other battle rappers talk about these URL contracts. They don't even know when and where they battle. Now I ain't saying all of them like that, but I've heard a couple of battle rappers Both say. Are. They sign the contract for two years and they don't know when they're battling or who they're battling. That's not negotiated in um before. So I'm not, I wouldn't want to sign a contract with anyone. I don't care if it's URL or RBE with anyone when I don't really know my fate. You can tell me all you want. Oh, yeah, we'll get you better with Charlie Clips. All right, when and where? Let's put that in the contract. From what I'm hearing, that's not what's been happening. I'm not sure if, if, if O-Red and Bill Collector and them change that. That's what I'm hearing. And then they're saying um, after they battle their prior battles that they've already booked before this contract, after that, it's all URL, which you don't know when you're battling. Look at Cassidy right now. He's signed a contract for Freeway. He's chilling. No. He got paid, though, but, uh, so he don't care. He got yeah, paid. But, but I'm sure there's something in that contract that says he can't battle anywhere else. Those they until that know. battle happens, they don't yeah. they don't know who they're battling until two to three weeks before the card happens. There you go, and that's been and that's been happening for the past three years. There since you go. 2019, and you wonder why these battles be looking mediocre sometimes. <laughs> Do y'all have a problem so with the? With the re-signing of Overhead, Chef Trez, Bill Collector, and Clean Paper to two-year contracts. Are you surprised about this news, and do y'all have a problem with it? No problem whatsoever. I mean, question is, do they have a problem? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's a question. For them. <laughs> I mean, obviously they did it, so there's something that they liked about it. But then 
I can understand guys probably seeing money up front. They probably getting money up front for these contracts too. So if you're getting money up front, you, that's cool right then and there. Yeah. But then when you see these, um, we, we start seeing these cars get announced, then you start seeing who they battling. Then that's when we'll start to find out. Okay, was it worth it for them or not? Which one of these niggas be not going to survive the two years? Clean chef, trays, bill collector. They're all, they're all going to survive the two years because they all mm-hmm. have status. So they're going to all survive. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I wouldn't be surprised if majority of those guys in that group are are, 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 are uh, only put on app only events. I wouldn't be surprised. I can't. Interesting. Interesting. I, can see, I can see all of them because. They all have status, you know. I can see them on a caffeine event, but those names that came in, I can also see them see them on app only events as well. Let's see, let's let's see how I go. Let's see how I go. I think I out of all of them right now, Bill Collector is probably is the name that's ringing right now. That's the that's only, the name that surprises me. I'm surprised only. he even had to go through this. Mm-hmm. He still don't. That's real. Respect. He don't get his respect though. Bill has not gotten his respect from URL at all. They don't respect Bill like that. He's got, he has to go over to all of these other places where people love him. And the only way that he can be re- respected, I guess, internally is through the URL because they are, right. it only counts. This is, this is what I predict. All right. The next big event is probably not going to be what until next year, most likely. The next big URL event, I anticipate to see Bill Collector versus Tay Rock. You think so? Mm hmm. Why? Headlining an event. That's going to be Bill Collector's shot to really see if he can handle that spot, that headlining spot on URL. Do you remember the last time we seen Bill Collector on URL? Do y'all remember? I thought it was racist. No, it was. I feel uh, like actually, I feel was, like Bill Collector the championship, on URL. right? It was yeah. a ULM championship versus um, um, who won? Um, um no, nah, it was uh the last time I remember seeing him, and I could be wrong, but the last time I remember seeing him was versus Big T. Mm. On caffeine. That's the last time I remember seeing him on the URL, and he sh- he he uh, and that was his chance in that battle to 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 get more to to advance, and he flopped that battle. He he was choking and stuff. So that's the last time I remember seeing him. I don't remember seeing him on the URL after that. I saw a statement from someone from RBE. I'm not going to mention his name. I saw a statement saying that the bricks was better than the crucible niggas. Hey, you think so? I don't know yet. We're yeah. going to find out at this yeah. um, final exam event. Yeah. And at this new, at this other card that, uh, what's that? What's the, um, plus what's the what? Tier seven. Yeah. We're about to see that because half of that card is people in the bricks. Which card do you think is better, the final exam card or the RBE's card? I like the RBE card better. Because of the names? Or you think or oh, why? Oh, I'm more excited about that because this is really the, the first time that RBE is actually, you know, showing the talent that they've been developing over the past couple of years. And they're getting real shots with real names. Mm-hmm. So I think that's dope. Some of these guys that are on, um, like the final exam, we've kind of seen them before. They're, they're it's not actually as a similar new. format. It's kind of like rookie versus vet. I don't know if you really looked at the card for final exams, but you got mm-hmm. chess versus uh, Saflair Soul. Chess. Yeah. Oh Low Soul versus Clutch. You got Clean Paper versus Ease. Chess. Chef Treads versus Authentic Stings versus Hansel. And uh, Lou Castro versus Foot. So this is kind of like a. Yo. Similar type of format. I'm, I want to watch out for Hansel. I was just Hansel. about to say Hansel is the best out of all the out of the bricks and the crucibles. Out of all, no disrespect to my people on the bricks. No disrespect to all my people I know on the crucible. But Hansel is the best. Hansel's gonna be something pretty soon. And yeah, y'all heard it yeah. here first. 
He's going to be yeah, one man. of the ones, man. I remember you did the on-site with him at the Riot Monopoly event, right, K? Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, got one of them on the channel, yo. Facts. Hansel is, he's fire, bro. He's going to be one of those. He's going to, like, it's like Ge- Geechee is ushering in the West Coast vibes of this new era. Mm-hmm. Hansel's mm-hmm. going to be one of the very, one of the first ones people are going to be like, who is this nigga? I'm trying to yeah, tell man. you. He, he he might mess around and be a star, bro, because yeah, he got exactly. that potential. So. <laughs> he got all he got all the quality, man. He got aggression, bars, heavy perform. He got he got it all, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Hansel, man. This is Battle Rap episode 33. We're about to go pay the bills. When we come back, man, it's homecoming time. We got to tap into the whole URL situation. They coming back to New York over in Plaza is reopening to the battle rap community. We haven't really been inside this venue since the whole Troy Ave um, shooting with um, what's his name? I forgot. Tech Stone. Tech Tech Stone. Stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to get into the URL predictions when we come back here at This Is Battle Rap TIBR Podcast episode 33. Don't go nowhere, man. We'll be back in six. All right, people, welcome back. This is Battle Rap TIBR Podcast episode 33. We in the building, man. K Doe, Seven Mitchell. We back yes, at sir. you guys. Special guest, BA from Get Your Bars Up Media. Now, before we even get into the predictions for URL's homecoming, which is going down live free on Caffeine November the 6th in New York City, uh, I wanted to tap in with you, BA, just for a couple minutes, just for you to give the people just a little bit of backstory about you know your career in battle rap, how long you've been doing this what people can kind of expect when they go to your platform and any type of things that you might got coming in the works that you can let the people know about. Ah, uh, man. Well, uh, get your bars up media, man. Uh, uh, created it, uh, created it in, uh, about, uh, 20, uh, beginning of 2017, uh, came into the culture, which I've been watching battle rap. My, I mean, for the past 20 years back when they were having battles on beats that's how that's how far back i go in this but um 2017 uh created the channel got the buzz up started traveling to events and experiencing the life and meeting um meeting so many different uh dope people you know uh battle rap is uh i would be when i came into it it low-key changed my life because i was i was just living in obscure obscurity you did okay. you feel like battle rap grounded me and uh, it introduced me to some uh, so, to some dope individuals like yourself, Seven, like yourself, K Doze, et cetera, you know. And what I've done in this culture is I've uh, I created a team and uh, man, and now each individual that was on that's a part of Get Your Bars Up Media is now flourishing in their own lanes now, doing what they're doing. And man, we just here for the culture, interviews, et cetera. And this is love. It's love. We don't do this for money. Don't do this for money at all. Were you doing any media work at all before battle rap? Like, were you interviewing people in any other realm before you got into battle rap? Or did the, the culture that we in now kind of um, generate these new talents that you, you know, grown to have? Uh, so I actually used to do uh, before I came into battle rap. Um, I would uh, what I, I would I, I was uh, I was managing. I was managing. um uh, uh, Verizon Wireless, um, and I was one of the managers or whatnot. And I, um, I had my own store, and for a couple of years, I got into this bag where our turnover was our turnover rate was so crazy that I was interviewing people for <laughs> yo. I don't know if y'all know, yeah, y'all know about that turnover in in in, uh, in sales, but I'm interviewing people like every two weeks. Um, multiple people ask them qualifying questions, etc. And that's what brought me over to the interview process part of here. And I watched a whole bunch of interviews in battle rap for the years. And I'm like, this is some whack ass interviews. They doing this current event. I want to know who the fuck this battle rapper really is. What inspired him to get into this game? Like what motivates him to still keep going? And uh, yeah, from there. That's dope. Where can people find you and your content? Like what platforms can they find? Get your bars up media. Uh, you can find us at uh, Get Your Bars Up Media on every platform, uh, every social media platform. It's G E T 
Y A B A R Z U P dash media. So, um, yeah, you can find us everywhere. And I guarantee you, man, uh, you come over and support. Uh, you're going to find a lot. We have over 1,200 videos, so it's a lot of content, and it's a lot of stuff that you would, uh, that I guarantee you that you would like, and we're just now finally getting back into the algorithm because I did take a lot of time off and uh, just now coming back, so uh, fuck That's dope, us. man. That's dope, man. Like I said, he's holding down the Northwest region as a whole as far as being that uh, frontline media outlet um, and, and battle rap as a whole, but salute to him for being able to, you know, show that consistent uh, microscope putting it on the uh, region in the Northwest because they doing their thing out there. Um, so salute again to BA. Make sure y'all follow Get Your Bars Up Media on all social media platforms. If you like good content in battle rap, that's definitely one of the spots you need to be. Hey, and check out, I need y'all to te- check out my Talk Yo Ish um, uh, segments and interviews because I got one. I got a dope one with seven, and I got a dope one with uh, Mr. Wakanda, aka <laughs> Kato's. So make sure y'all check those <laughs> out. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are out there. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna get that playlist out there. We're gonna whip them things in rotation. Yeah, I just remember that. Man. Check out the Talk Your Ish play series for real. Salute to you. I was talking my ish too, bro. Yeah. All right, man, we got some more shit to talk about, man. Let's end the show off right with a classic URL homecoming. November the 6th, live, free, caffeine, Irvin Plaza. URL is returning back to New York. First time in a couple years, definitely since COVID. Uh, BA, you're not too, or you wasn't too crazy about this card as a whole, right? Where'd you hear that from? I love this card. It's going to be yeah, fire. A little, a little birdie in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> a little birdie in my ear. <laughs> told me that this could have been better to you but maybe i could have been wrong what's your thoughts man on this overall card uh honestly this card to me is uh it's it's one paper when you put murder mook and geechee at the top i'm expecting fireworks all the way down this is like if murder mook and geechee is going to be headlining the card it's a summer madness it's a gnome um okay. but no disrespect to the to the everybody else on the card because I love like the card looks good. It's not a bad card. It's just not an eye popping card where the top the top it's like top heavy. And on top of that, a lot of these battles the people weren't looking for, and it's cool because you got to put cards together and all of that. But it's, it has the potential to be fire, but it's not on paper. It's it's it's, it's okay. It's okay on paper. Let's talk about the winners of this event, man. Let's start off hold from on, the bottom. Hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> nah, nah. We can't just go past what he just said. Are we looking at the same card, gentlemen? <laughs> Jazz the Rapper versus Dixon the Assassin? We haven't been asking for this? That's two. <clears throat> I, have, I, haven't, I haven't asked for that, but I asked for Jazz versus Misfit. I didn't ask for Jazz versus Vixen. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, serious. I didn't even know. I didn't even. I'm trying to figure out that dynamic even. I mean, it's going to be fire. It's going to be possibly fire. But I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't looking. That wasn't a battle that I was looking forward to. I was looking forward to two different type of matchups. Let's, What's let's the report the card, card grade you're going to put on this card? If you have to give this card a report card grade, what are you giving it? Um, Off of um, but pre-battle. After battle, it can be different because these it can be fire. It can totally these fire these battles can be fire. But before I'm giving it, I'm giving it a a, a B minus, C plus B minus. Okay, but it's not below average to you, so that's fair enough. What about oh, you? No, it's not trash. It's not trash. If it was, if it was horrible, like like garb garbage, then of course I'm gonna be like I'm gonna give it an F right off. But nah, it's not bad. It's just not to me. It's not super eye appealing. Now, one thing I will say, though, and maybe this is what you're trying to say, too. I can't see a couple of these battles being potential duds. Well, let's get into it, man. Let, let, based, let's get right on, into it. based on the consistency. All right, let's get right into it, man. Let's start off on the bottom. Stumbles and Kid Slade. Let me get right. y'all predictions real quick. K-, K, who you going with in this battle between Stumbles and Kid Slade? And d- two questions. I'm going to break this down to two questions and just try to do it as quick as you can. Does this battle belong on this card, and who you got winning? Definitely belongs on this card. I'm not mad that it's on this card, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for Stumbles, man. I want to see Stumbles win, 
You know what I'm saying? He need, he, I, want, I just want to see him get a win right now. You know what I'm saying? I got stumbles over Kid Slade. What about you, B.A., when it comes to stumbles versus Kid Slade? Does this battle belong on this card? Is this one of the ones you talk about? And who will win? This is definitely one of the ones I'm talking about. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. But uh, this is a, to me, this is more of a born legacy type card. But I mean, not card, but a battle. battle. Uh, but shouts out to both of these gentlemen because they were supposed to be on Summer Madness, actually. But uh, something happened or whatnot. But with that being said, I got Kid Slade 2 1. Stumbles. Um, I believe that he will live up to his name. And it's crazy that I'm saying he's going to live up to his name. But I feel like he's going to live up to his name and that's going to cause him um, one or two rounds. And um, yeah, he has the potential to be dope. But Kid Slade 2-1. So I got to be the tiebreaker. Uh, K going with uh, Slade, right? You going with Slade, right? No, you going with Stumbles. He ain't going with Kid Slade. I'm going to break the tie. I'm going with uh, I'm going with Stumbles. I, you know, salute the gun titles, but I'm going with Stumbles as well. I think Stumbles is a star. Arsenal, the Rebel versus Swamp. Swamp talked about he's about to retire at the end of the year. Uh, B.A., I'll start off with you. Who's winning between Arsenal and Swamp? Swamp coming off of the t rock battle. Arsenal. Nah, I, Arsenal, I got a lot of respect for Arsenal. It's one of my guys, but I got Swamp 2-1. Swamp is on some other stuff, and um, I like what I if you can beat Tay Rock, you can beat anybody. <laughs> Yo, if you can beat Tay Rock on the stage with that many people, I think you can beat Arsenal too. No disrespect, thank to you. Arsenal. Wait a minute, I, <laughs> I don't thank you. Ain't no thank you. I forgot this, you. this is where thank we really you. need to rewind. So, what are you saying, BA? That Tay Rock lost to Swamp. Yes, he clearly lost the swamp. Oh my God! Thank that you. Clear. That was clear, bro. Come on now. I got to talk to the bosses about you oh, and I you. I forgot. I forgot you. That's that. Y'all, are, y'all are really gonna sit up here and tell American yeah, public that was a clear talk, win? BC, I forgot that's your neck of the wood. Yeah, I'm man. tripping. I'm DMV tripping. all day. Yeah. Jesus. Swamp Christ, I won rounds two and three. And hey, and he and he low key. I know we praising Rock for the first round, but Swamp second round might have been better than Rock's first round. No way. See, now, y'all yeah. some haters now. Now no, I'm convinced. No. Now, now, now I'm convinced. Look, who, you got, who you got, Cave, with uh, Austin or Swamp? I remember you told me Swamp at one point. So are you swamp. sticking with that? You going with Swamp? I got Swamp. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm going with Arsenal. <laughs> I guess I'm out on the island by myself. I'm going with Arsenal over Swamp. I like Swamp. I'm going with Arsenal. Kayshawn, Jack Boy, Maine, next battle what man. Two of the dopest performers we've had. <laughs> this is another one that, that don't belong on here, B.A.? I'm not going to say it doesn't belong because I respect both of these artists. I do. I really do. I, I chop it up with both of these artists. But it's just we didn't ask for this. I know that Jack Boy fought for this. And he's putting it out into the atmosphere. URL kept dubbing it. But I just didn't ask for this battle. But uh, with that being said, I got K Shine. You got Shine <laughs> over Jack Boy. Yeah, I got, um, I got anything Shine. Jack Boy can do to win this battle, though, BA, in your eyes? That, I just, Jack Boy, I don't know. If you look back at his track record, you feel me being in the culture, you see that when that pressure comes, he folds. He folds a lot when that pressure. He doesn't, he doesn't really react to pressure very well. And until he does that consistently, I'm going K Shine because the last two K Shines that I've seen, the real sick K Shine and the uh and the Bill Collector K Shine, those two K Shines have been crazy. That's I'm That's not going to, I'm not betting against that. I'm not betting against that. What about you, K? Shine not Jack going against, <laughs> I'm not going against K Shine. I mean, look, Jack Boy, you better pray K Shine choke, which he doesn't do. You know what I mean? I can't see it. I can't see Jack Boy winning. I can't see it. So I think we it's all agree. Be we all agree. Two one that clear. K Shine gets the W. Okay. Vixen the Assassin versus Jazz the Rapper. K Doze, who you got winning this battle? Vixen the Assassin. I don't even need to ask you why, because we had this discussion in, in, in its entirety. And I, my stomach still hurt over the argument. Thick. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, I got Vixen. What about you, BA? Jazz, Vixen, P 
people have asked for this. I know you didn't, but people have definitely asked for Jazz versus Vixen. I was really excited to hear about it being on this card. So who do you got winning though? Vixen, the ass assassin. I mean, the assassin. <laughs> <laughs> y'all really think Vixen <laughs> gonna beat Jazz, y'all? Yo? Y'all. Uh, are- me. But hey, this is this might be unpopular. This might be the unpopular uh, way that the battle might go. But I I think Vixen is about to put Jazz in a bad body bag. I think she's about. To, I think this is gonna be a thirty. I think she's about to wrap her body a little body up and put her up. This is me. Oh man, I see. I don't know why I can see it happening. I mean, I know Jazz is one of the greatest. She's arguably my own people's Mount Rushmore for the ladies, but. I see Vic, Vixen is good is about to, that stature that frame is about to be on her. She's about to. We ain't seen her in a while either, <laughs> and people are gonna like miss people missing missing her style and all of that. We just seen Jazz three times already this year. She did catch a body. She did catch a body versus uh Gaddis, and she had her two two on twos, which was cool. But nah. I, Mm, I think Misfit about. I mean, I Misfit. See, she should be battling Misfit. You forgot but what she did to Geechee? She beat Geechee. She did not beat Geechee. I don't know where that stigma's coming from. Why? She get a couple reactions of people saying she beat Geechee. She ain't beat Geechee for real. Don't tell, she, tell him, please. No, do you think Thank she beat Geechee? She did not no. beat Geechee. And I and me, I'm I'm not biased. If Geechee would have lost. I would have said he lost. Look, he she did, did good. That's she did. BA is, he, he, BA is close to California, y'all. Don't get it <laughs> twisted. For anybody that's listening, there, y'all know how K Doze is with this West Coast bias stuff. Uh, BA is BA is from Houston, but I believe he's in that. He's y'all are we, really we on Washington. another one, man. Yeah, man. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Like, really, man. That is that is blasphemous. Really, I don't know. I don't know if I can have BA, but I don't invite BA back on the show. Vixen 30. I got Vixen 30. A body bag. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say no body bag. That's what I'm saying. That's my, that's my, that's that's his hot take. That's his hot take. He's going hot take. Yeah, he's going with Vixen. Yeah, I'm going out on on an island. I'll definitely go with Jazz in this battle. And I saw ain't ain't, ain't no surf here to back her up, man, no more. So, ah, last but not least, can't help her right no more. Last but not least, um, first of all, let me get your predictions. BA for Geechee and uh, Murder Moot. And I did hear that. That was very disrespectful. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, y'all. I'm joking, y'all. I'm jo- hey, I'm joking, y'all. I know she write her own. Yeah, story. I never I never said that he was writing for her, but I think he was a big help as far uh, as. Man, people saying know. he was writing for Surf. So, hey. When it comes to Geechee and Moot, who you got winning, B.A.? This is Irving Plaza. This is New York. I don't, I don't honestly, I don't even care where it's at. Geechee, I think Geechee, I, I don't, um, I don't even really like, I don't like this matchup on a big stage. I don't like this matchup on a big stage. I wish it was in a small room, but they got to recoup, make their money back, I know. But I got, um, Geechee is supposed to win this battle, I believe. He's supposed to win this battle. This is set up for him to win, even if it's in Irving, because everybody, he's universal. I'm tired of this East Coast, West Coast. Geechee is a universal battle rapper. But with that being said, I got to go with the logo 2-1, Mook 2-1. Interesting. Now, I already know k Doze is going with Geechee. I'm mm-hmm. going with the logo as well. This is New York City, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there, no studio. We see you. No story. Hey, hey. We see you. K. The Irvin Plaza effect. The whole aura about this battle being in New York. Do you and I know Geechee is your guy, and I know how you feel because you're on the West Coast. So it's like they taking shots at y'all. Do you see any validity in that in that whole thing? narrative about the whole New York thing or do you think it's just a straight excuse or storyline like what is the fear factor in that is it is it does it have a little bit of a lily that that Geechee needs to be concerned all Geechee guy has to be concerned about is the first round the first round is key and important in this battle for Geechee 
because they're going to be more excited probably to hear from Wu than Geechee at first. So that first round is going to be key. Yeah, He doesn't have to have the concern in the first round like Averb had, though, right? I wouldn't say that because if I'm not mistaken, Averb was talking down on New York before he battled that's, that's in New exactly. York. Exactly. Exactly. And Geechee's always been kind of shown love from New Yorkers, but still, that's the hometown dude, Murder Move. And he's a hometown legend. It's not like he's just some dude from New York. This is Murder Move. So they, they're going to be anticipating to hear what he's going to have to say. But I feel like Geechee's going to have that same effect, though. Because they don't want to hear what Geechee got to say. And remember, Geechee can rebut him. Yeah. This might be the best Geechee guy that we ever see, though, to be honest with you. Because I don't think he's, I mean, you look at his resume, who he's had to battle. He's going to be comfortable. This is the one biggest challenge that everybody has held over his head, really, for like two years because of the pandemic. And he never would have had it. He never had the opportunity to prove people wrong. So this is his first opportunity. To shut the people up. So I think he's definitely going to get up for it. B.A., what do you expect to see on, on November 6th from Geechee Gotti? What do you expect to see as far as out of his performance? I expect to, I expect to see a top tier. Uh, not a top tier. Uh, um, I To me, he's God tier now. Geechee Gotti is a God tier battler to me now. He's elevated to that. I feel, I, I'm looking at two God tier heavyweights get into the ring. And the only thing that I fear is with it, with it, especially with it being the last battle of the night, most likely, I fear that the crowd, something in me is telling me that the crowd is going to mess this battle up. Mm. I don't know why I feel that way, but I feel like they're going, Mook is going to be rapping, Geechee's going to be rapping, and then it's back in New York, and no disrespect to the New York crowd, but the New York crowd can get, when battles, for some reason, that New York energy, they like stuff right away, fast, 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 get to it, get to it. Right. We know that Smack URL events, they are very stretched out. Drawn out. That's a fact. That's a fact. And by the time that battle happens, I feel like it's going to be, it's going to be bars. It's going to be nice content, but I just don't know the reception of that crowd. And that's what scares me, period, when it comes to this battle. k who do you think URL wants to win this battle? What does it matter mm. to them? As a brand, as a business decision, move forward. That's an amazing question. Who do you think URL wants to win? URL would love for Murder Move to beat Geechee Gotti right there. You think so? Oh, yeah. Why? Oh, yeah. Because Geechee Gotti right now is in prime position because he's, let's be real, you got Tay Rock, who is the face of URL. The fa- he, the, Tay Rock is that. Gichi Gotti, though, has been right there when it comes to that same thing for battle rap and URL. Winning champions of the year, champion of the night. He's won. But Gichi Gotti's a good representative. Why wouldn't you want him to be the representative? I'm getting there because not only that, he's going to be retiring, you know, soon. The riot is right there, too. The riot is on the rise. It's on the incline. It is on the incline. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't this. mean to cut you off. You said the riot is right there, battle? right where? It's not with the URL. Talking about, no, not with URL, but on his way up. It's on the it's incline right, right now. So if he wins this battle, this will further solidify Gichi Gotti as being God tier, as being a, the one of the in game battle rappers. All right. Which means that his money is going to have to go up again if you want to book him again, All right? And now he now he's going to be walking around with this aura like, "Yo, who I got under my belt? Loaded Lux under my belt." Some people might say Surf. Uh, um, um, some people might say Verb. Hollow, I kind of edge Hollow that battle. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of edge. No, I watch it. it. I kind of yeah. edge Hollow that battle, but and now Murder Mook in the span of what five years? Tay nah. Rock. It's been less than that, bro. It's been less than five years with the bigger names. 
But the bigger name yeah. has been about three. Four it's years. been about three. three? Yeah. It's been about Look three years. Look at that, bro. Wait a Look minute. at that. Wait a no minute. one else is doing this. Actually, disaster? two and a half. Actually, disaster. Nah, 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 nah. I got to talk to the bosses about you, K. Those. I'm the, not gonna New let you York? get away with it. You think Murder Mook not gonna ask for more money if he win? What are you talking about, K? Everything oh, yes. that you say that Geechee Gotti is going to do if he wins is the same story for Mook. So why would you or LB so pressed to no, make No, it's not because Geechee... Mook don't got no league. It's just Mook. Geechee has a whole league. And yeah. if Geechee says, I'm going to walk away and fall back for a little bit, and then Geechee is a free agent for real, for real? They got easier by captain. Tay Rock is still doing his thing. You compared to Geechee? They trying to compare who? Tay Rock? Yeah. Nah, you get easy. You talking about easy? You right? You talking about compare? I mean, trajectory wise, yeah. since we're yeah. we're talking about trajectory, yeah. Yeah. They trying to do it. They trying to make easy. Easy's on pace, and he, he's Geechee. capitalizing on all the bad. They ain't to. like he folded. He ain't been. That's another subject. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> Yo. I don't want. I, I right. like easy, but he. I got I, it's a lot of holes in that. So BA, you agree with K Doe's about them wanting Mook to win Calico. this battle? URL. <laughs> you think URL prefer Mook to win this battle? Um I think they I think they prefer honestly. They um I, I, I can see I can say URL doesn't care. I don't think they even care, honestly. And if they okay. did care, it would probably be. It would probably be um I could say I could say Mook. I could say that they don't want Mook to win. I could say that. And I only say that due to Mook. Mook comes in the game when he wants to, and he comes in, he talks so much ish, and I'm this and I'm that. I don't need y'all, this, that, this, that. And they and this is just some more humbling pie. But I can say the I same thing. I see what's happening. I see what's <laughs> happening, BA. This guy right here with this black hoodie on, he's trying to paint a narrative like Geechee Gotti's the victim. He's trying to set it up for Geechee Gotti to be the fucking victim going into this battle next month. But And I don't all. respect that, and I don't appreciate that. Yes, you are, Kay. I can see, yes, you I, are. Can see I can see what he's talking about. Though, because seven. Geechee has never done anything disrespectful, talk slick, really like that to URL that would make URL want him to lose. Unlike Mook, who has been very spicy, especially when Mook got that bag from RBE. Mook was talking a lot of shit about URL. So you're trying to make this That's whole true. underdog scenario like Geechee's back is so against the wall the the the, the building is not going to want him to win the company is not going to want him to win I and stay when he that. does he's now the goat like yo you're trying to set it up for him to be the greatest of all time if he wins this battle yo i see what you're doing <laughs> the extra credit you're trying to put on this shit i wasn't doing that but i'm so glad you said that you're because, terrible k because when Gucci Gotti wins this battle i'm i'm going to look at your face and I'm gonna look at Verb's resume. I'm gonna look at Verb's resume. How many times have you gone against the PG and lost, bro? <laughs> Come on, man. So this is Harlem, K. Okay? What you expect me to do? What you expect me to do? <laughs> I can see, but I can see where I can see where K knows is coming from, though, because Geechee is getting too big for his britches, man. He getting too big for his britches. He went, he ain't listen, he do what he want to do. He can go to he can go to RBE or rap and URL and then say and, and, and URL. Or else could be like, I right, we need you back here. He can do what yeah, he wants. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Bro, and now he needs to be got him. They want him to be he got him. no studio in network. He got that on YouTube. He got the riot, which is an entity in and of itself. All that he's not Bro. bigger than Mook. That he's still not bigger than Mook with all that. <laughs> Mook was signed to Rough Riders, Buster Rhymes, Flip Mode. We're talking about current though. We're talking about current. Like to this point, to but this those point, people still got the Mook. Mook still, I'm pretty sure it's Mook still got affiliations and contacts and stuff with those people. Like those people don't just disappear. No, dis no disrespect to Mook. He's a legend, right? But Gichi Gotti is that newer, is the newest thing smoking right now. It's like he is the face of battle rap, not URL. Gichi Gotti is the face of all of battle rap. So with him being your employee 
and he him feeling himself. And I don't know if you've been listening to him throughout little different talks within the, back, the last couple of years. Like, like nigga, I'm Geechee. I don't need them. They need me. He been talking yeah, he, like that. Yeah, he has hey, a little bit of a vibe. URL, yeah. <laughs> URL here is everything. So what, they, they would love for him to, I'm changed that. Geechee. Geechee's the one. I'm not, not moving. They want Geechee to move. They, they let need me tell you this. They trying to humble Caffeine. Caffeine loves Geechee. It, Caffeine loves Geechee. Doesn't the Twitch love them too? Don't Twitch love them too? <laughs> All of them. They love them some Geechee. But you are out once in the least. Wow. You get too big for us. I'm British. telling you. You got to humble that man. You I can't. That man humble. They going to sabotage Look, him at Irving Plaza? You don't think URL was mad that he booked Room Nitty vs. A Ward? Yeah. He's I'm going to keep it real. Crazy. He over there, Geechee over there talking crazy about new new, talking crazy about peace and little slick shit here about the, the people in the company, about the business. He was talking, he's Geechee, I'm trying to tell you, Eddie, but he backing this shit up, winning though. He backing this shit up with his status. They can't a little bit of me, right I ho- a little bit of me hope you are sabotage this battle. <laughs> I would love to see k get on camera <laughs> ripping the URL about sabotaging the battle, making Geechee lose. I just, I'm for it. I'm so for it. <laughs> I hope the lights go out. Something happens. I want to see k Doze in rare form because I know when it happens, if it happens, he's going to go in for the kill. You know damn well I am. It's gonna go we, all gonna, <laughs> we all going to know what's happening. I ain't gonna know nothing. I'm gonna look at the fan votes from caffeine. That's all I'm gonna look at. Look, be of that a lot of y'all niggas on the East Coast, y'all tired of this West Coast nigga hey. over here running this shit. <laughs> y'all can't that's wait. That's y'all can't wait that's to this thing that's, that's a fact. That's a fact, though. Y'all can't wait. <laughs> and Mook will be the one to do it, right? Y'all thought Lux was gonna do it. Didn't happen. <laughs> Rock. Rock. Now we got Mook. At Sir, home, man. And ain't no <laughs> Look at it, see? Bro. He said it, ain't it ain't up. No excuses. <laughs> trying to tell you, no. It ain't no excuses, bro. Don't be surprised if they got if they 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 pull like a URL low key get like a hundred people who are just straight Geechee haters and put them and section them in the crowd. Don't be surprised. Yeah, he need that experience. He need that. He need that. They want, he ain't, they he ain't felt that. He ain't felt that. The he knows know that. They want to humble the young God. That's what they want to do. Like, they want to humble him. He too big for them. Like, he don't need URL no more. He doesn't, really. Geechee can go do the riot. He can go make the riot the next RBE and make it even bigger than that if he want to. Because he's Geechee. Like, Look, that's man. how, that's the impact. I, Hey, chill, B.A. Yeah. I don't want you around to hear this, bro. Right. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, done. I'm a chill, bro. Take that back. Hey, cut this part. I'm, cut this part. They get me oh, nervous. So haters. So we are standing. Nervous. We standing tall on the East Coast, man. Y'all know the vibes. <laughs> Episode 33, man. T.I.B.R. Podcast. Coast. It is officially a wrap. Another classic episode in the books. BA man, once again, we appreciate you so much for coming through, chopping it up with us on this episode. Let the people know before we get up out of here where they can follow you at on social media again, bro. Definitely. Y'all can follow me at uh, Get Your Bars Up Media on each and every platform. Make sure um, if you are on uh, YouTube, um, Northwest Takeover, where we talk battle rap, Northwest specifically, and we branch up to, we branch over to all of the country uh, every Tuesday night, 9.30 p.m., Pacific time. So Northwest Takeover, get your bars up media Tuesday nights, 9 30 p.m. PST. Holler at us. Uh Kato's Seven Mitchell. Thank y'all, my brothers. It was a great, it was this is a dope conversation, man. Can't wait to the next one. Yeah, man. We definitely, Salute. definitely gonna have you on board back again, man. Salute to my brother, my partner in crime, my guy K Doze. He was under the weather and he got in his bag and he was able to show up and put on another classic show. Okay, salute, man. Any final thoughts before we sign off? Y'all know what to do, man. Hit them like buttons on all social media platforms. Make sure y'all go to thisisbetterrapclothing.com to get your clothing. You know, support, salute to my guy, Seven Mitchell, for directing this whole thing. We appreciate you, BA. Appreciate you, too, as well. Let's get it. 
Y'all already know. Quick reminders, man. Make sure that y'all tune in with us live every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. on YouTube. We got our new uh, live stream show, TIBR Live. So y'all can catch us live uh, on YouTube every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Make sure y'all pull up. We're also reaching the 1,000 subscriber mark on that platform as well. So keep it going. And we thank you guys again for the support. Follow us everywhere on social media and make sure y'all stay safe. Have a great week. Okay, let them know where the fuck we at before we get out of here, bro. This is Battle Rap.